Hey everybody, welcome to Commuter Orientation for Fall 2020. Congratulations on making it through all of your other orientations. Um, my name is Kyle Vitwar. I work in the Office of Student Engagement as the coordinator of New Student Experience. And my name is Justin Kapner. I work in the Residence Life Office as the Resident and Commuter Life Director. Um, so I wanna start you guys off with introducing you to your commuter assistants. Um, on the top right, we have Hannah. The top, or sorry, top left, we have Hannah. Top right, you have Paula. And then there's Laura on the bottom left and Noelle on the bottom right. Um, these, these ladies are here for you to reach out to, help you uh, get introduced to Vanguard. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything that you're just not sure about, um, they're here for you. We'll give you their information at the end. Um, but we hired them this past spring. Um, three of them are commuters. I believe Noel lives on campus. So if you have any questions about um, on campus things, Noel would be your girl. And then if you have any questions about different commuter things, um, you can reach out to the rest of these ladies. And they've been, uh, Laura was a commuter assistant last year. So she knows um, the ropes and how commuter life works pretty well. So uh, the commuter population just kind of at a glance. Um, so we have over 650 commuters um, or a third of the undergraduate population. Uh, that number might look a little higher um, towards the beginning of this year, um, just with the difference regarding COVID. Um, but they make up a large uh, percentage um, of the population at Vanguard. So. Um, they are a big part and we want to serve this population well. Um, it's a very diverse campus um, made up of uh, lots of different um, ethnicities and even uh, church backgrounds. Um, so our commuter assistants, as Kyle mentioned as well, are here for you and here to serve you. Um, that's their job and that's, that's why they were interested in the position and um, want to serve you as commuter students well. Uh, so don't hesitate to reach out to them. Uh, they want to get to know you. They want to provide opportunities of connection. And um, again, we'll give you their contact information at the end of the presentation. Um, so these are just some common questions that we're going to try and answer throughout this presentation. Uh, how can I get connected and involved as a commuter? Um, that can be difficult since you aren't on campus as much as the residential students. Um, what should I plan for eating? Is there a meal plan? How many chapels do I go to? What are chapel petitions? What services are there on campus? Where do I get parking passes? And does Vanguard offer health insurance? Yeah, and um, some Vanguard lingo that is going to be helpful for you to know. Um, as a commuter, uh, you might hear these words or acronyms kind of tossed around and, and might be lost for a little bit, um, but I think you'll quickly catch on. Uh, we have SGA, which is our Student Government Association. Uh, we have OSE, which is the, the Office of Student Engagement. We have NMC, Newport Mesa Church, um, which is where chapels um, are often held. The RA and RDs are part of the Residence Life Team, so the Resident Assistant. Um, they work under the resident directors um, to provide event opportunities um, and be resources for you as students um, and get you connected to other places on campus. Uh, the CAs are the commuter assistants. I'm sure you'll get to know them well. Uh, they, they have a similar role uh, to the RAs, um, but they just serve our commuter population um, instead of our residential student population. We have OA, OAO, which is the Office of Accounting and Operation, ARC, which is the Academic Resource Center um, to help you succeed academically, ISP is our Intercultural Student Programming, and then SFD is our Spiritual Formation Department. Um, and then we'll move on to some hangout spots around campus. Um, hopefully, when you guys can come back onto campus, um, hopefully later this semester, um, or in the spring. These are some places where you will find a lot of students hanging out. This is a great, um, just different locations around campus that um, our student population is um, 
heavily used. So the student center is our, our most, um, our newest building, and it was open this past spring. Uh, that's the bottom left photo. Uh, that's where the calf is, so a lot of students will eat there. There's an upper level, so you can sit outside, um, as well as the indoor level, um, or the bottom level, which is indoors. Uh, Huntington and Laguna lobby, this is where the residents, the freshman residents live. Um, so if you want to head over there, you can meet some new people who you might not run into every day. Um, they also have some fire pits outside. So at night, if you want to go over there, it's a really cool environment. Uh, the library, they have study rooms. So if you and your friends want to go, you can get a study room. Um, so you can uh, study and kind of chat a little bit without disturbing uh, the quiet in the library. We have Needham Courtyard in the forest room. That used to be our old commuter. Uh, hub center that's where we would have the refrigerator and the microwave but we moved that to the student center which we'll cover in a little bit um, and then scott courtyard is where students will hang out in between classes that's this top left photo um, that's kind of right in the middle of heath which is where a lot of classrooms are as well as scott and so if you have a class that ends at 1 15 um, and your next class isn't until 1 45 you can kind of just hang out there with um, talk to people as they come and go um, this is right there in the middle all right, so some ways to get involved. Um, I think this is a really important part uh, of just the student experience. Um, college is a fun time and um, there's lots of different events and things going on on campus. So um, to be a part of as many of those things as, as you can, I think um, provides just a fun and um, just overall just a great college experience. So. Some of those ways that you can get involved in include our commuter life events, which we'll talk about a little later. Um, there's going to be some virtual hangouts this um, semester for sure of um, maybe having online trivia nights or uh, cooking shows where you learn how to uh, cook, cook something over Zoom and doing that uh, together and, um, you know, maybe knowing the ingredients ahead of time and cooking something. Um, we, we have lots of all school events that happen every year. Uh, you can join or create a club. We have um, a variety of different clubs on campus, whether focused on um, a sport or a common interest, or um, maybe it's social justice minded. There's a lot of different um, clubs and opportunities on campus. We have our intramurals and recreational activity with VU Rec. And we have a variety of sports and things to get involved in with BU Rec. Uh, those things might be uh, Ultimate Frisbee, which we've done in the past, or football, or indoor soccer. There's lots of different intramural opportunities. Uh, Student Government Association, um, which I kind of mentioned earlier, is kind of a way to get involved and make an impact here uh, as a student on um, many of even just like the decisions uh, the university makes uh, how it communicates we have um, an sga president and vice president every year that are uh, voted in from the students we have activate which kyle will touch on here in a second missions and outreach uh, both local and global and study abroad um, a variety of different opportunities to to study abroad and go off off campus and do something different all right, so Activate, like Justin just mentioned. Um, so this is a freshman leadership team. Um, we normally hire about 30 um, new students, freshmen, who are interested in furthering their involvement with, uh, whether it's student government or student leadership of some kind. Um, basically, they'll learn to work as a team, plan, and execute different events throughout the year. Um, we will assign these freshmen to two, um, students who are the BOD leaders, which they'll lead these students, um, help them plan um, and help equip them for future leadership positions. Um, the main focus is really just developing leadership and team skills. Um, a lot of the students who are involved in Activate go on to become RAs, uh, spiritual formation, um, just different, different teams throughout campus, student, different student leadership teams. Um, so it's kind of just a great way to get put into this and um, this whole environment at Vanguard. Um, great way to get involved as well. We'll have some info meetings on that early in September. So keep your um, 
ears and eyes open for that. All right, so um, some different commuter life and all school events. Uh, some of these things that we have are our commuter welcome back, uh, commuter lunches where we might get sandwiches or Chick-fil-A or Chipotle uh, for students. We have uh, the all school party. We have a block party every year, a harvest party, which is one of my favorite events um, that takes place near Halloween. And there's actually a big maze that OSC partnered with Valport, which is one of our residential um, halls here on campus. Those teams of students will partner and create uh, a really kind of elaborate maze uh, where students both get to walk through, have fun, um, laugh together, and uh, students will be kind of scaring them um, as, they, as they walk through. Uh, we have Pit Pride, Mr. and Mrs. VU, which I'll touch on briefly. You can see a picture of that in the top left corner. Um, this is kind of a talent show uh, between the classes every single year. So freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior will all uh, compete uh, in kind of a talent slash dance kind of uh, competition. Um, mock rock, athletic games, and biggest of all, perk for the, perk for the commuters. Uh, there's free popcorn for commuters at um, different athletic events and games. So another perk, being commuter, get yourself some free popcorn, bring a friend, uh, attend one of the games. It's a lot of fun. All right, so next is food options. Um, this year, this first semester will be a little bit different, um, but these are some good things to take notes on for future. Um, hopefully the spring semester, um, the CAF will be open fully and back to its normal self. But um, commuter meal plans, we do offer commuter meal plans. Um, you can get 25 meals for $235 or 50 for $420. Um, it's also an option to add money onto your ID card. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can um, go to our CAF. It's very commuter friendly. So they accept cash and debit card. Um, we just redid it. It opened this past spring. So it's a little bit different if you visited uh, maybe last year in the fall. Um, it'll be a different CAF system than what you saw, but um, it's a lot more open and just friendly towards all students. Um, we also have the Dr. Ben's coffee bar. Um, same thing, you can pay with cash or ID or your debit card. Um, and then like I mentioned earlier, we have the commuter kitchen in the student center, which offers a um, refrigerator and microwave and sinks. If you want to just bring your lunch, you can heat it up um, whenever you feel like it. Um, I believe that's open uh, whenever the student center is open. So you can head in there early if you want to eat breakfast or make lunch whenever you feel like. That pizza is making me hungry. All right. <laughs> uh, it's lunchtime here. Uh, we have Campus Cup. So this is kind of a new initiative that um, our intramural coordinator is, um, has kind of put together over the last year or two. Um, so this, uh, basically you'll be put into a team based on your campus area. So whether you live in one of the residential halls here on campus or commuting, um, you'll be put in kind of a team. For commuter students specifically, uh, you'll be paired with students living at Vanguard Center um, and you are the orange team. Uh, and the, so Vanguard Center is kind of a, our off-campus um, apartment, um, just located just a seven or eight minute walk away, so not too far from campus. Um, but that population is paired with commuter students to make a team. Um, and you get points throughout the, the whole year by participating in different events around campus. So whether it's an intramural sport or attending a, an athletic game or otherwise, uh, you'll get points throughout the whole year based on these things that you go to. So there's a little bit of incentive um, going to these things and it also just provides a sense of camaraderie and um, kind of teamwork as you go throughout the year. So it's a lot of fun. 